It all began with a constant noise, quiet yet persistent, that seemed to echo from the depths of the earth. At first, the pensioners who lived in the building dismissed it as typical neighborhood disturbances or perhaps work being done in the cellar. But over time, curiosity gave way to concern. A young couple, Lena and Vikor, decided to investigate and bring the issue to the attention of local authorities. Adding to the mystery, a small hole had appeared near the building's foundation shortly before the noise began. The hole, caused by soil erosion from water retention, had been swiftly addressed by the building administration. Construction workers filled it with sturdy paving stones, sealing off whatever lay beneath. Despite the persistent noise, local authorities were reluctant to take action, unwilling to incur costs without identifying the source of the disturbance. Frustrated by the inaction, Vicor decided to take matters into his own hands. Methodically, he began lifting the heavy paving stones. With each stone removed, the noise grew louder and clearer, a faint, desperate barking that sent chills down his spine. Driven by an unshakable resolve, Vicor dug deeper into the earth, the sound intensifying with every movement. Finally, he unearthed the source of the noise, a terrified and pregnant dog trapped beneath the layers of dirt and stone. It was Banya, the neighborhood's beloved farm dog. How she had ended up in the hole was uncertain. Whether it was a tragic accident or a malicious act remained a mystery. Banya had endured two agonizing days in the dark without food or water, her belly heavy with the promise of new life. Her tearful eyes reflected the silent suffering she had endured. That she had survived at all was nothing short of a miracle. Moved by her plight, Vikor and Lena rushed her to a nearby animal shelter, where she received the care and nourishment she desperately needed. Two weeks later, Vikor returned to visit Banya. She greeted him with unrestrained joy, wagging her tail and nuzzling his hand as if he were her long-lost master. Her gratitude was palpable, a bond born from a shared moment of survival and compassion.